So how do we heal from irritable bowel syndrome? Number one, stop. Stop the foods that irritate the lining of the gut. What are the foods that do that? Caffeine. Refined sugar. The hybridized wheat. We touched on the hybridized wheat last night and I'm going to explore it a bit more tomorrow in the acid alkaline lecture. Dairy. I acknowledge that Lula Bell in the paddock eating organic grass who gets milked and made a proper cultured yogurt out of it, that can be healing to the gut. But there aren't many Lula Bells in the paddock. If you were to feed the milk in the supermarket to a newborn calf, the calf would die. So sorry, you, you can't even compare to what's in there. You're best keeping away from it. People say, what milk do you drink, Barbara? I say, I'm winged, I eat food. Milk is for babies. Hmm? We're the only creature that drinks milk past babyhood. Number one, stop all the things that can irritate that lining. Number two, take a probiotic. What's a probiotic? A lactobacillus acidophilus bifidus bacterium supplement. Do you know they are the two uh, permanent bacteria that live in your gut? All the others come from those two. Number three, do you remember Psalm 103 verse 14? God made herbs for the service of man. There are two herbs that coat, soothe and heal the lining of the gut and they're both a bit slimy because the lining of the gut is slimy. I think we all know aloe vera. And aloe vera has a great stimulant. It stimulates rapid healing in the lining of the gut. The other herb, when you put water with it, it just goes a bit slippery. It's called Slippery Elm. And Slippery Elm coats, soothes and heals the lining of the gut.